Hi, I'm Ethan from Taglons. We've teamed up with MSI for the launch of Dying Light 2 to build this crazy giveaway PC. In Dying Light 2, there's quite a contrast between day and night in the game, so we wanted the build to reflect that. So you can switch it over to night mode, which turns on a whole bunch of UV LEDs that we've planted around the build. So they cover your inside buildings and as well as outside kind of key spots to reveal messages so the survivors can find their way. All the lights in the PC are independently controlled by an Arduino. We've done it this way so we could manually switch between day and night and by taking it away from the RGB of the actual computer, it gives it the more immersive feel. There's two full sets of lights throughout the build. One is just standard RGB strip, and the other are individually soldered in UV LEDs. So that allow us to show the hidden messages at nighttime, as well as fend off the biters. The power station building is all laser etched and cut. So that's how we ended up with the fine brickwork and detail in the windows. And that gives us like a nice valley to do black washes and stuff over before we painted it. The remainder of the buildings were all kit bashed out of assorted laser cut and etched MDF pieces. So rather than kind of running to a set structure like we would with the power station, we just cut a whole bunch of random pieces and put them all together in the way that suited the build the best. In the world of Dying Light, all the buildings are super run down and have kind of been overcome by nature as time goes by. So to recreate this, we started with like a pristine building. We built it as it would have been before the zombie breakout and then we destroyed them and like set them on fire and um, did our best to weather them as naturally and as evenly as we could. And then we came in with the trees and all the model train um, plantation detailing to kind of really finish it off and tie it back into the Dying Light world. To be able to run Dying Light 2 on Mac settings, MSI, Intel and Nvidia hit us up with their top of the line hardware. So the PC is running an Intel 12900K, MSI's Z690 Pro Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard, 32 gig of DDR5 RAM. Dying Light 2 is ray tracing compatible, so we're running an Nvidia GPU, specifically MSI's 3080Ti Gaming X Trio. There's plenty of storage for games in the system with MSI's Spadium 2TB M.2 SSD. To keep our CPU temps under control, we're running MSI's Core Liquid S360 all-in-one cooler, and the whole PC is powered by MSI's 850 watt gold power supply. To really top off the giveaway, MSI also sent us their massive 38-inch ultra-wide 175Hz optics monitor. We've got the GK50 Elite Mechanical Keyboard, the GM41 Wireless Mouse, and the GH50 Gaming Headset with matching headphone stand. Destructive builds are always my favourite because I get to play around with a lot more weathering and some fire. So thanks to MSI, NVIDIA and Intel for making the giveaway happen. And to the winner, I hope you enjoy playing Dying Light 2 on this as much fun as I had building it.